Let us have a look at cell phone contract or prepaid. Phoenix, I want to buy a cell phone. Please help. Digit wants to buy a cell phone. Let us help Digit choose a cell phone in a suitable contract. Let's get the party started. Firstly, let us list the important functions Digit will need. He needs to SMS or send a lot of text messages. So, he will need a cell phone with a SMS feature for sending text messages, a MMS feature for sending pictures, and a phone that supports social utilities like Facebook, Twitter, and so on. Digit must buy a cell phone with wider buttons so it is easier to type the SMS messages. Let us have a look at the body or outside appearance of the phone. Decide what body of phone you want. For example, we have a phone that slides. We call it a slider phone. A slider phone is one of the most popular phones on the market. Look at the pictures. Why do they call it a slider phone? It is called a slider phone because it slides up to reveal the keypad. Many slider phones slide up to reveal a QWERTY keyboard. Let us have a look at smartphones. Another type of phone he can choose is a smartphone. Smartphones are phones like the Blackberry. Smartphones are more suitable for business since they have business-like features like email. Let us have a look at touch screen phones. We also have touch screen phones. Touch screen phones are not cheap. Take the iPhone 5 for example. A touch screen phone has the keyboard on the screen. Touching the screen is like pressing a button. It doesn't slide or flip or anything like that. Let us have a look at bar phones. Bar phones have the screen and the keypad all on one side. They are the standard type of phones on the market. Although they might seem old, there are many up-to-date ones on the market today. What must you do before buying the phone? Before you buy a phone, browse through search engines and ask other users what is the best phone. So, I must do research. That's correct. By researching and further reviewing the kind of phone you'd want, then digit, you will be able to come up with a detailed specifications for the particular model. Research usually include price, dealer location, features, availability, and so on. Be a smart shopper by comparing prices on the phones. Sometimes, cheaper phones might have the same or very similar features as the more expensive ones. Also, consider trying to find other stores that sell the same phone, so you can compare the pricing and see which stores are cheaper. Let us have a look at contract versus prepaid. Digit must decide what plan to use or subscribe to. There are two types of plans, namely contract and prepaid. What is the difference between contract and prepaid? In simple terms, prepaid is the type of plan that lets you load recharge vouchers before you call someone. This means you have to buy a voucher before you can call, which means you pay in advance. Contract plans, on the other hand, are those that go by monthly bills. They usually come with lower call rates. With contracts, 
You pay for the calls at the end of the month. Let us compare the following contract and prepaid packages. Let us assume that Digit buys a 50 rand recharge voucher every month for two years. 50 multiplied by 24 is equal to 1,200. So after two years, he would have spent 1,200 on airtime. Digit must buy a cell phone which cost 750 rand. Adding these two amounts, we have 1,950 rand. On contract, he gets the phone for free and he only pays 49 rand per month for two years for the airtime. 49 multiplied by 24 is equal to 1,176. So overall, he will pay 1,176 rand for a time. 1,176 rand is less than 1,950. So a contract is much cheaper. There are many different contract types. Some are more suitable for making lots of phone calls and some are more suitable for sending lots of SMS messages. You will have to decide what it is you want to do with your phone and then start visiting some cell phone shops and finding out what is available for you.